Thank you for staying with us. Here's hoping you had your green tea, your bush tea, your coffee, whatever it is that you need in the morning, your oats, your egg, whatever it is to pick you up and get you on the go. It's a beautiful day outside. It's Tuesday in Antigua and Barbuda. So we want to just invite you to get going and get your day started in a positive way. And here to tell us a little bit more information on how we can do something positive or maybe you can contribute to someone in your community is uh, Raji Burton, and he's the founder and chief executive, no, I'm sorry, Regis Burton, the founder and chief executive officer, and Raji Burton, the director of the Nolan Hughes Young Professional Networking event, which comes up on the 7th of January uh, at the Trade Winds Hotel. I want to say a special good morning, guys, and thank you for joining us on the set. Gosh, you guys look sharp this morning. You know, this is how I love to see we young people doing it in a fashionable way. Now, you're here this morning to tell us about the Nolan Hughes concept. Now, can you tell me how it was formed and possibly the year, just to give our viewers and myself a little bit of background as to how it was formed? Okay. Um, just to give an insight, um, Nolan Hughes is an, an image consulting brand that focuses on the professional development of young males and females. Um, there are two arms to the organization. The first arm is a for-profit where we focus on um, image consulting and offering professional attire. The second arm consists of a non-for-profit where we are going to be providing public speaking skills and presentation skills to youth athletes in Antigua and Barbuda. Um, for instance, you might have a, a young person who spends his time on, on the football field and um, you know he spends every day there. He he scores a winning goal in a tournament, and at the end of the tournament, he's asked to give some sort of presentation or have a sp or, or speak of some sort. And um, he may not be able to represent himself well, so we're going to assist and stuff like that. Um, the second part to the non-for-profit is we're going to offer um, interview where um, someone might land the opportunity to have an interview, but they show up to an interview in white socks. They don't have the belt, the proper attire. So um, by raising funds, what we're going to be doing is um, donating shirts, socks, belt, um, interview wear to these individuals who are in need. Um, we're also going to be implementing um, fellowship programs where we're um, adopting a set of youths. And we're going to take them under our wing, um, guide them, um, form them, and um, you know, give them the opportunity and the platform to develop their professional skills um, by collecting funds as well where we're going to give them the opportunity to attend conferences, um, give them interview skills. Um, so just in a nutshell, Nolan Hughes' um, initiative is towards giving back to the community um, by assisting youth and young professionals um, by just giving them that platform or assistance. And was this just formed this year, or this has been going on for several years? Uh, so, Nolan Hue originated as a male accessory mm -hmm. um, fashion line. Um, it was for men. Um, it came up with the idea that, you know, men needed to be able to do more with suits. We only had the opportunity of wearing a black suit. Well, we thought, we had this notion that we can only wear a black suit, gray suit, blue suit. Um, but, you know, the idea came to me that, you know, you can do more, you can accessorize your suit. So, you know, we had the slogan, giving men more option. Um, I moved back to Antigua, I've been working here for a while, and then I saw that men in Antigua don't have the opportunity to wear a suit. So why is this? I wear a suit all the time, but what am I doing that gives me the opportunity to be in a suit? So then I looked at, I'm attending conferences, I'm networking, I'm, I'm traveling. Um, so I said, we need, there needs to be something in Antigua that gives men the opportunity to wear a suit so that I can sell these products. So this was me doing my market research. Um, I consider myself as a young humanitarian, um, an up-and-coming philanthropic. Um, so I revamped the whole concept, decided to go to a for-profit and a not-for-profit because, you know, you, you do your best work when you're doing something that you love. Um, and I love giving back to the community. I love helping people. Um, so that's why there's two arms to this. So it generated from a male accessory line and has now come into a company and slash foundation. So you guys have been around. It's just that you're now branching off right. to do something else yes. to give back, yep. which is exactly. a great idea. Yeah. Now, my concern is 
uh, how will you collect the funds to make it a nonprofit? Because I know from a profit, I mean, you could always sell and, right. and purchase, and, and, and that's different trading. Right. But then, how is it gonna, how are you going to collect funds from the nonprofit or for the nonprofit aspect? Okay, so um, just like one of the reasons we're here is to promote um, the first networking event of its kind for young professionals, um, where proceeds from this event will go towards the development of the foundation. Um, also, we're going to accept through donations. Um, but with sticking to the, the core of it, where we're selling, we're also selling male accessories, um, providing consulting services. A percentage of that will always go towards the foundation, will always go towards funding these programs. Okay. So you mentioned about the, because the main focus you're here, reason why you're here, is about the function that you're going to be having, Correct. the networking uh, function at the Tradewinds Hotel. Now, I heard you said a cost. Uh, what's going to be the cost if there will be any okay. for that function and what will you ex what will persons be expected to wear uh, what will be happening at the function just I want you to take this time to invite them and to give them all the necessary information if a young person again and it's male and female Correct. because for mm -hmm. some strange reason I thought it was male only Correct. so because you're saying suits so I just want you to really stress and include the women <laughs> and invite them. And, you know, again, suits doesn't necessarily mean or typically mean men. Correct. But, but sometimes True. when you hear suits, you think men. Right. So I want you to take that opportunity as well to include the women as well. So uh, what we're having is Nolan Hughes Young Professional Network event. First, when we say young professionals, we're not saying by age. We're more so looking at where you are in your career. You may be a career changer. You may be still want to climb the ladder. You still want to excel. Um, you may be in a career for 10 years and say, you know, this is not where I want to be. Um, the concept of networking is so important. Um, and I think in Antigua, we haven't utilized it as yet. Um, we see each other on a social light. Maybe I may see you out drinking an English album and Coke, but I don't know that you're expert in graphic design, an expert in computer programming. And I have this idea, but it's just stuck within myself because I don't have the help. I think that I always need finances, and it's never the case. You know, we started this whole um, era of humankind by bartering. You know, we can go back to that. You offer your service, I'll give you my expertise. And we can move forward. And that's what our generation needs, um, to work together to move forward. The event is going to be at 5.30 to 7.30 at the Tradewinds Hotel. And the cost is $30. Um, to receive a ticket or to register for the event, you have to go online at nolanhugh.eventbrite.com or go to signs and impression on Upper Recliffe Street and register for the event. Everything is done through e electronic tickets. Um, we're not printing of tickets, it's 2015. We're trying to advance ourselves. Our generation is a, a generation of tech savviness, so we're going to be using that. You register, you get your ticket sent to your phone. When you come to the entrance, it will be scanned, your barcode will be scanned, and you'll gain access to the event. What should you expect at the event? You should expect to promote yourself, promote business ideas, um, promote other people that you may know, so that you can leave the event saying that I know somebody who knows somebody. And then we also want to correct the notion that people say it's about who you know. It's not about who you know, it's about who knows you. Because you can know the world, but that person gets a job opportunity, but they never remember to call you. So we want to provide this opportunity for our generation to mix and mingle with seasoned veterans, because we're going to have seasoned veterans and senior accountants, bank managers, ex-bank managers, so they can tell us um, what they did to get to where they are, the mistakes that they did, and recommendations for us as we try to climb the ladder ourselves. That was actually going to be my next question, if there was going to be any you know, special guests, uh, veterans in the business, veterans in the community, you know, just people that could really share some insights. You can exchange information, like right. you said, you know, put heads together, because you're so right. I mean, it does say that money makes business, and you have to have money to have business, or make business, or make money. Right. But you can also start with, like you say, barter, because that's something that I'm very familiar with, and it does work. I mean, exchange is no robbery, right? So, I mean, you can start with barter. So if you are out there with this great idea and you're thinking, you know, how am I going to get it started? The banks are not going to give me a loan. This is something that you probably need to come out to. And it's not only just that. It's also coming out, like you say, I, I look at TV so many times and you see persons, uh, sports persons that are at the top of the ladder, top of the list and they cannot give a good speech. Correct. And without giving a good speech, I mean, you're, you're pretty much nothing. 
because everything that comes out your mouth is very important, especially when you're about to make that speech. And you mentioned something about public speaking. That's another thing that's very important. So I am looking forward to actually attending this because, again, it's all about networking. Because once you get out there and you get your business or your services out there or you get yourself out there, you could be in the market for a job. Correct. That's true. Definitely. You know, so yeah. you could you have to get out there because if you don't, then people won't know that you're looking for a job. True. They may think, okay, you know what, she has a job. I see her dressed up every day, but they don't know that you're looking for a job. True. Right. So, you know, it is something that I'm looking forward to and I'm quite sure a lot of people are. Again, the cost is... It's uh, thirty dollars, and the website. The website is Nolan Hugh. That's N O L A N H U E. dot Eventbrite. dot com. Um, you can also get tickets at Signs and Impressions as well, too. And where is Signs and Impressions and located upper, just for persons? Upper Red Cliff Street. Upper Red Cliff Street. Um, but if, before we go, could we um, sure. we'd just like to thank sure. our sponsors? Of course, because um, sponsors is um, very most, important. Most definitely, Best of Books, Northside Car Rentals. Um, tai Chi Italian Restaurant is a new Italian restaurant. The food is amazing. It's in the Woods Complex. Um, we'd like to thank our major sponsor, Signs and Impressions. They've come on board. They supported the initiative. They've seen the vision. And they're willing to work with us as we go along. Um, we'd also like to thank our three other major sponsors, Lime, and API Mobile, and Digicel. Um, we're pleased to have these three major corporate sponsors sponsoring one event. Yes. We, we rarely see that in Antigua. But it's about working together. And you know, we got them together to see that our generation is ready to work together. So we need them to come and support us. I'm not sure if I'm missing anyone. It's one, one thing that I did ask so that I... Oh, time. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, one thing that I did ask, again, and I just want to reiterate uh, about the women, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm yes. a woman, so I have to make sure that it's understood that, you know, the women just, I want you to just stress on that for yeah. a couple couple seconds more <laughs> to make sure that the women understand that they are invited to. So the women are definitely invited. Um, right. what they, we only have an emphasis, emphasis on the wear, the professional wear. That's what we're offering to the males. Okay. That's what we're going to be selling, but we're still donating a portion of that income back into the, the non-for-profit side, the foundation. Um, but, you know, just in terms of behaviors, the habits that we're going to be mentoring, the, the mentors that we're going to have and connecting to these young individuals, we do have women on board, women who are seasoned in their careers as well, who are on board. So... All right, guys, it was a pleasure to sit with you guys this morning, bright and upcoming future for Antigua and Barbuda. When I see things like this, it's very positive. Again, it's a pleasure to have you, Regis and Raji. And we want to say to each and everyone, go on out Tuesday uh, 7th at the Trade Winds Hotel. And sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, on 7th of January. 2015 at the Trade Winds Hotel for the Nolan Hughes Young Professional Networking event. And again, women are invited <laughs> and male, young professional. It's all about you. So you're watching and listening to Good Morning Antigua Barbuda. And we're now going to join the top of the hour where we joined 